Hey everyone, Wonderbot here and welcome to Abalon. It is a top-down roguelike deck builder that used to be called Summoner's Fates, but got rebranded for the 1.0. And honestly, I'm not sure if it necessarily needed that, but this logo looks great, so I'm gonna say it's a bit of a glow up. I really like how this is rendered. Uh, so we're just gonna dive in. I have a previous adventure, but it's near identical to my previous one, so let's not do that. And oddly enough, I'm gonna throw it on Novice. This game's kinda hard, and I'm a bit of a chump. I do like the fact that I can draft my initial couple of cards. So I'm going to do a little bit of minion mastery. We're going to bring the Phoenix, the Fire Elemental, and Conflagration. Conflagration, Conflagration. Do two fire damage to everything but adjacent allies. That just seems really useful. Let's see, our abilities. Firepower, far shot, two fire damage and one damage to surrounding enemies. Cool. And what is our... Ooh. What is our biome? Let's do Forest. I guess I could have picked something different, but whatever. That was a very muscly man. Oh, well, it's fine. Okay. Can I destroy these? No, there's nothing... I don't think I can interact with the spider nests. A little bit more uh, spidery than I thought it was going to be. Well, oh, we have uh, help the tree and help the goblins. Goblins are chopping down the forest to find the perfect Christmas tree. They don't actually know what that means. They just like chopping stuff. Half heavily alarmed by their behavior, a treant is trying to stop them. The goblins have now turned their axes against the treant, and it's about to get dicey. Help the treant. I'm just gonna roll. Goblins attack. Okay, but hopefully we got a buddy here. Ow. Might hurt a bit. All right, so let's take a look. Treant is knockback and vulnerable to fire. So that's actually a bit of a downer. Not a huge one. But if I want this treant to survive, I pretty much cannot hit it with fire. Now here's the question, does the treant join me? Recognizing you're not one to be trifled with, the outmatched goblins scurry off into the forest. Hopefully they'll think twice about who to raise their axe against in the future. Grateful for your help, the treant pledges to join your adventure. Okay, so yeah, we get a party member. Loyal unit. Oh, a loyal unit sticks around with you. It's not a guardian. Uh, let's see. Oh. If a loyal unit is summoned by a card in your deck, it will return to the deck when resting in camp or if it's defeated during battle. Oh, but he's not a card, is he? Well, one way or another, I'm gonna have to be kind of careful with him as I singularly can just destroy him. Oh, I can also destroy the landscape. Do I want to fight this sucker? I don't have a whole lot of cards. No, I think we want to retreat from this one. Yeah, I only get card. Oop. I only get cards back. Let's see. Yeah, elite enemy. I only get cards back for resting in a camp, and so I only have one currently. So I pretty much have to fight that dude in melee. I don't want to ignore the Manticore for the time being. Like a regular fight or a loot chamber or something. We got a merchant, but I don't think I can do anything with this. Yeah, McGee's shop. Which, I mean, he's got some good stuff. But we'll have to come back to this one. Gang Gandor Tear Grief. In a violent and magnificent blaze of fire did Gandor Tear Grief rain destruction upon the old world. Like a blast of a volcano, it turned to ash all in its wake. From the ashes, a new world grew. So did the great fire dragon toy with the powers of creation. This might be a fire dragon... Hey, This might be a fire versus fire fight. Which might be fine, might not be fine. We'll see what happens. Can I go this way? No. I can also fast travel around, but my main goal here... Well, I guess there's no point in it. There's nowhere to go back to at the moment. A couple of goblins? Yeah, it should be fine. How much HP do they have? One. You know, honestly... I'm gonna save my cards. Unless I really need them. Hoping they would line up with each other. It looks like you can't move in ranged attack. I 
could do this. Feels wasteful. Doing it anyway. Because these guys were loaded. Plus we get three more cards. Fireball, Phoenix, and a Spear. Oh, choose a card. Let's do fire damage to a visible 3x3. Three three. Chaos is a moment of eternity from which the infinite potentials can arise, but without purpose it cannot sustain meaning. To bring order to chaos... To bring... Wait, to bring order to chaos has purpose, and so it's the dragon's destiny to start the fire and his tragic fate to be hunted and extinguished. That also gets me some more health. To some degree, I guess what I should do is probably tank hits more than my treant. Okay, let's wait. Hopefully these bees end up close together. They do! Huzzah! Okay, we get an archer. Point bad. Issue an order to another ally. Goblin archer or another fireball. I'm just gonna go for fireballs. Minions are nice, but they get killed. Fireballs are... Well, they're not forever. I think I can fight these guys. Oh. And I've caused them to run away. That's not actually what I wanted to have happen, to be honest. I kind of wanted to fight them. The Tragedy of Rabbits. Long ago, a powerful mage mutated a small rabbit into a monstrous hulk. The creature looked up to its creator, seeking the love of a child, or the love a child seeks its parents. But inexplicably, its creator abandoned it. Alone and afraid, darkness swelled in its heart. It named itself Rabbitus and now roams this forest, breeding more of its kind. Its singular purpose, to inflict wrath upon those who wield magic, lest they forget the burden of creation and the emptiness that's left when love is denied. That's dark. Okay. Looks like we've kind of gone around the outer limits here. Looks like we have more bunny. And here's the thing. This will be quick. That's a sad noise. Okay, here's the question. Can he hit anything? The answer is no. Oh, that is the saddest noise. You know what? Just so we don't have to hear that anymore. I'm just going to nix the uh, sound effects. A animal pain noises are like, I don't want to say I'm hypersensitive to sound effects. I don't like gun noises. I don't like a lot of sound effects. I guess is the real answer. But I know some people that really don't like them. Remove debuffs from an ally. If it's chaos, heal four or remove debuffs from... Eh. Oh, it's weird that he's just looking up at me. But he does look pretty good. Flying Warcry, if your summoner has five or less health, summon an Angel Warrior. Sure. Like, that almost feels like a Kickstarter backer kind of card. Or something to that extent. Like, I I almost feel like somebody's gonna recognize who that character is and be like, yeah, I'm in the game. Or like, Dad? I don't know. Phoenix. Oh, I got snakes. Okay. Oh, that worked. Alright. And then I'm going to summon the Phoenix, because the Phoenix is immortal. Every time it dies, it just goes back into my hand. Okay, let's hit that one, since we do two damage. Summon the Phoenix again. I guess, actually, no, I could have had the... Because now I lose the Phoenix... Because, yeah, it doesn't go back in my hand. Uh, ooh, Dragon Welt. Flying Sprint Shot. Two fire damage in a three cone. Sounds interesting. Here we have a Griffin there. We have an Orc Warhammer. I do have a number of dice. Do we want to? Let's capture the creature. Do three. Well, that's unfortunate. What about this guy? I could hire a barbarian, but I don't I don't have enough money anyway. 
We've gotten surprisingly little cash over the course of this run. Fairies are small, winged humanoids known for their playful nature. When successfully amused, they are generous with their powers and bestow amazing gifts upon the one they're infatuated with. But be careful, fairies are also known for being tricksters. Okay, I can in fact destroy that root. Oh, this is dead end. Looks like this is a treasure room too. Goblins are famous for their fixations. Whether it be grabbing gold, collecting crystals, chopping wood, or stabbing stuff, they'll fiercely commit themselves to their obsession. When they're not ill-intent or, uh, Ill or malicious creatures, but their lack of consideration for others in the way of their goal gets them into trouble far too often. So now I could almost hire the barbarian. Looks like I'm going to have to go around. Okay, we got some crocodilia. Oh. They have taunt. Decent enemies cannot flee. So this one's tough? Why do I do extra damage at the moment? Let's go for it. I don't think they're going to kill me. We might have to camp after this one. Is this worth it? Yes. Oh, that's combo. Okay, that's cool. No, 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 no. You're just shooting the thing. Thank you. Do we want to get anybody else? Probably not. Because I'm not going to be able to kill him. Him. I'm just going to fireball that guy. I know we're starting to run out of cards, but we can go camping at any point. There we go. Nice combo attack. Plus we get some more cards. All allies gain plus 1-1. One, one. Orcs and goblins gain 2-2. Two, two. When damaged by ranged action, negate effects and gain veil until the end of turn. Ooh. Shaman staff and... Alright. Goblin's birthday party. Let's join in in singing happy birthday. Let's roll 2. Yeah. Let's see, give the goblin 100 gold for his birthday party, and now we have a bunch of goblins following us around, too. They're not going to survive, I know that much. However, I still have a gank squad. I guess I can't use my conflagra uh, conflagration anymore. But that's fine. Dude. Right, that should be good. Okay, three damage. Three damage. And that Orcish Warhorn is uh, pretty useful, actually. Uh, it doesn't look like there's anything else I can do. Oh, gosh, okay. He did a little bit more damage than I thought he was going to. Well, vengeance for friendos. Okay, boss starting mana reduced. Battle of Gandor to your grief. A master of fire, Gandor to your grief is immune to its damage. That's bad. It'll use this to its advantage and call magma giants to revel in its wake. Wear armor to outlast its offensive. Bring healers to recover from burns. Use dispel magic or ice to extinguish the flames. The battle will not be easy, but the greater the challenge, the more satisfying the victory. I uh, the whole fire immunity thing is actually a huge worry. Infect. Infect. Units injured by non- triggered effects. Wait. Give units injured by non-triggered attacks effects. Oh, so he can spread if I want to. That'd be tough, though. I think I'm just going to grab the regular dragon whelp. Okay, let's go see about that chest.
Let's see. So I need to do shock. We gotta stop doing fire damage. Spell power. Spells do extra damage. Flying spell power one. Sprint shot magic attack. Cannot be blocked. So shock elemental is not terrible. Yeah, I guess I'll go for the shock elemental for the time being. And we get a healing potion, which is nice. I was kind of hoping we'd be able to find some kind of permanent upgrade for a critter or two. Oh. I completely missed this. Uh, oh, we do actually have another key. A bunch of money. I should have been paying attention to those. So in that case, we actually want to... We're going to work back here. I think I even looked at this and I was like, eh, and then walked away. Oops. Okay, so fate encounter, capturing creatures. I do have a bunch of dice. Sure. Let's see if I can snag the manticore. Ouch. Creature attacks me. I guess I'm going to just have to leave. We'll come back to it when I have more dice. Okay, can you? No. Can you? Yes. Aha! Oh, dang. Did not realize the treant would just yeet him that far. Armored Warrior, and yeah, those hearts give me extra max HP, which is useful. Alright. Alright, this is Spidersville. What do we have? Armor 2, knockback 1. Let's take a look at these. Whenever hurt, summon a Spiderling. Whee! Okay, oh, we only do one damage. So in that case, we should probably get this bad boy out, because he's going to do a little bit more damage. And get him with a backstab. Oh, he can't do anything. End turn. Oh. No, we don't want to... Okay, we get a fireball. No, that's an exploding fireball. Alright. So everything has gone poorly for me. Oh, gosh. Okay. Yeah, and two damage to surrounding units. So we we can't... I have to do this. Because otherwise, we'll die. Okay, and it still gets the rebuttal, but that's fine. up. Okay, so we have three archers. I'm gonna go for this. Sprint shot. Alright, that should do some damage. Damn, didn't kill it. And it still summons babies. Alright. We also have this guy. It is three damage. Yeah, let's just do it. 
My goal is just to have as few parents as possible. Hopefully my treant doesn't get messed up here. Oh, I could have had him shoot one of the babies. Alright, whatever. Now we might lose our treant here. Yeah, they didn't like him. He was kind of doomed from the start of this fight, though. Maybe I could have done it better. Saved up for the big fireball? I don't know. Who knows, maybe it'll come back. Many mistake the destructive tendencies of red dragons for malevolence, but they harbor no hatred than a flick flame flickering on a wick. Born of fire, they inherit the essence of chaos, raw potential, pure passion, and the freedom to live intensely for a glorious moment. Okay, what else we got here? Maybe another treasure room. I do have another key. Alright, and there's Bun Boy, if we want to fight Bun Boy yet. I don't. I really don't. Okay. Ooh, another big treasure room. With more gear, I'll have to find a, a build that specifically uses equipment better. I guess we do have the goblins. The party goblins can kind of wear it. Oh, and you know what? I have a couple of summons that can use it too. The guides are revered by summoners for commanding them to fulfill their destiny. Yet, it has long, been, it has long puzzled me who commands the others. For every tale of heroic deeds, there is another tragic failure. Such fate is often met, not at the hands of monsters or, hosti or hostile environments, but rather another party of would-be heroes. Who is it, I wonder, who commands these heroes? Okay, get some armor, get a bunch of gold. And I think I'm going to have to fight, yeah, Bunzilla if I want to get through that one. I don't know if I can get to the other side of this. Ah, boss key. That's the, uh, boss door, I guess. Go back to the fate encounter. Honestly, I, I think I might just try rolling the dice at this thing. I'm just gonna take some damage, I guess. Damn. There we go. Creature successfully trained. We now have a guardian. So unlike a loyal creature, a guardian, I think, can and will come back if it gets downed. Hey, lightning storm. Right, let's go up. Well, now it's us versus the actual manticore. Oh, and I'm poisoned for I don't know how many rounds. Well, that's vaguely fine. Why don't we get an archer up in here? Oh, it's because he's here. All right. Right, I can also attack. No, my goblin! Didn't realize he'd be that fast. Well. It's fine. I wasn't really expecting them to survive anyway, especially not if we're going into a dragon fight. I was kind of hoping I'd preserve the archers because they're free damage. But, alas... Okay, so... Three cone? Nah. Oh. That is a thing that can happen, apparently. Uh, let's just hit that one. It'll take out one of the two goblins in the back. Oh, the ranged units will retort. Rude. I'm just gonna move him here. Hopefully I don't just die. Goblin is set at... Oh. Alright, let's see about this. I guess let's summon this dude. I can't kill him. Hmm. 
Now I can. Or at least I can fire, breathe fire on both of them. And he's dead. Alright, cool. Yeah, it hurt a bit, but we're good. Ooh, heal an ally for 10. Orc champion. When an orc is injured, 2-0 two, uh, two until end of turn. That's really good. I, I swear these guys just look like they've been modeled after boy band members or something. Flying block. Inflict days. Move six spaces. 310... Uh, 410, 38. We don't have a whole lot of orcs, so I, I think I'm going to go for the Archangel. Oh, and the Goblin Birthday Party. Oh, and a Marshmallow. I don't have a whole lot of dice. I think I might skip the fairy for a smidge. I'll go back to her. Don't worry. All right, how do we want to do this one? Okay. He's got some range too. Oh, that's what he do. I'm just gonna heal the buddy. Okay, end turn? Yeah, nothing else I can do. No, party goblin. All right, so how do we wanna do deal with this? Is this gonna hurt me? That's a question. Actually, if I shoot this guy, or if I hit him in the back, oh, we don't get the combo. Well, that sucks. There. That's how we get the combo. I guess I can just shoot him. Yeah, the problem is if I do that, oh, I can also heal an ally. I guess that didn't really do much of anything, did it? Uh, do we want to do a Celestial Veil on my archer? Uh, you know what? All boys that I'd want to protect, he's probably one of the more want to protect types. Let's see. Heal my Manticore. How do we want to handle this? Shoot him. Hit him. him a little bit. I don't want to do a fireball. I think I'll just wait. I'm saving those fireballs for bigger hits. Oh, right, because he's poisoned. Sick. Giant Meteor. Five damage to any space running units. Take one damage knockback. Row or column on fire. Two damage when units enter or start turn on it. Or Dreadnought Spellweaver. I like that Spellweaver. Being able to debuff a unit's attack seems really good. Like, I like those other spells, but I don't know. I'm a sucker for summons. It's a problem. Okay, let's leave. When injured, a wolf spider mother will shake her children free at all costs. Do not allow this to happen. Completely surround the beast. Oh, or freeze it so its children can't drop. Many small jabs mean many children. Instead, strike it with fewer hard in fewer hard-hitting attacks. Steal a card from an enemy summoner's hand and play it on the closest valid target. Huh. Okay, boss is there. Looks like we can just head this direction, though. Oh, there's the birthday party. A couple of the goblins are still alive. Most aren't. Okay, why don't we kill one of those? I guess he's gonna take a bit of damage. 
But the less buddies he's got, the better. How strong is he? Not very. Okay, end turn. Oh, we also have her. Yes. He, um... He hiding? I'm not sure what his plan is. I think his plan is to not have a plan. I mean, works for me. Saves me cards. Oh, that was quick. I grab all the resources. Hexes are a form of debilitating magic that harms or manipulates their target without directly causing damage. They can be immediately lethal, like touch of death, or reduce stats and alertness. Powerful hexes could even bend the mind of the victim to do the bidding of the caster. Fortunately, powerful artifacts exist that can protect your allies from hexes. Seek rabbit's foot or the four-leaf clover. Poor rabbits. Okay, so we've still got a couple of zones left to explore before we're done with Act 1. We got this business. Uh, yeah. How do we want to do it, deal with this? Because I think I need to be here. Unfortunately, I cannot attack because of moving, but it's fine. Because that gets ri rid of almost all of the buggos. Wish I could actually change his facing. Oh, that's rude. Okay, can't do that. I'm just gonna point myself that direction. Oh, right, it's fine. There we go. I'll take it. Should have just done that. Give a humanoid enemy minion armor three and control them when your turn, turn starts. When enemy enters, uh, enters the space, remove them from the board until the start of your next turn. Timekeeper. I don't know. Let's do Dark Temptation. I don't necessarily know if that's going to be wholly useful here. But it's worth a shot. Okay. So now that we're done with that, we've only got a little bit left. Let's go see about this fairy. Give the fairy a kiss. It's the succubus instead. Do four. There we go. So we now have... Oh, it's a loyal unit, not a guardian. It's fine. Uh, let's see, we've got a mercenary for hire. I don't know if he's a loyal unit or what. Okay, so he joins us as a guardian. So now we've got two guardian units. Let's go over here. We also have a couple of camps to deal with. Let's see what this guy's got. Might as well grab the Acolyte. Fire Breath is good. Okay, I think that's good enough. We probably have too many cards. Well, that's why we want to make camp. Heal up. Okay, can't do anything to my loyal units. Uh, let's see, so what do we want to cycle in and out? I'm going to get rid of the battle horn. That's not that helpful. Cycle out some of the fireballs.
I guess I don't have too much. We do also have that shaman staff, which is really useful. Uh, let's see. Oh, I'll go for I'll go for that for now. There's our twenty cards. So we got one more rest after this. Oh, I don't think there's anything else that I can do here. Break camp. I really wish I could modify cards. Maybe it's a, it's something that I get the ability to do later. But I would love to be able to mess with some of these things. All right, Bunzilla. First and foremost, solve that problem. Uh, let's see. Here's the question. He can currently move wherever. If I just move him upwards... Nope, still can go kind of wherever on this one. Undo that one then. Alright, let's burn his counterattack. Everybody gets bonus damage now. Oh, does he still get the counterattack? He might. But I guess we just completely wrecked him. Well, there's the boss key. No one knows for certain how old the cosmic tortoise is. Though it's universally accepted, the creature is ancient. It's depicted in, in cave drawings, and memories of it have passed down for millennia in the hive mind of insectoids. Some scholars who've studied it call it the universal constant, a conduit through which all potential possibilities flow. Others say it represents an energy that binds and connects all things. Alright, so we've got all the lore in this world, and we get a free thing. Artifact hexproof. Uh, hex Artifact scribe. Oh, gain permanent ability. Recover discarded cards after, or... Ooh. I might as well become Hexproof. That seems super useful. I like Dream Stealer. When an attack damages a summoner, steal a card from their hand and cast it. I like the idea of the Red Dragon, but it's going to be hard to cast. Okay, we got the boss key. But we have one more room that I can go into. Hello, sir. Oh, roadside, roadside shop. I don't have enough gold. I could have even gotten a dream stealer. Oops. Well, whatever. Oh, right. Can't do anything to that. But we do have the rest of a treasure room. Okay. Got the potion. I got 250. What can I buy from him? Pretty much everything. Unlimited oh, counterattacks. All of these are really good. Unlimited counterattacks or armor three and taunts. I'm gonna go for that poison. I don't know if it's a good idea. Okay, unfortunately my hand is full. I don't think there's much I can do with it. So, I guess it's just boss time. Now, I'm pretty sure we're fighting a dragon here, which is actually a little dicey, considering... Uh, immune to fire, and that's my primary means of attack. Alright, let's take a look. Okay. Boss is at least substantially weakened. Immune to fire... Flying, Sprint Shot, 5 damage and a 3 cone. Magma Giant. When a cast spell is cast, 2 damage to surrounding enemies, other... Okay. These are all chaos. Ooh. 
Well, this is super freaking scuffed. Let's see. Yeah, I'm just gonna go there. Do nothing about it. Rotate. Thing is, I pretty much can't cast or do anything. Oh, we have the satchel. Let's just do undo everything. Okay, we've scouted the fight, but here's the thing, I got a satchel. I should be hexproof. What else have we got? Equipment card, ooh. I'm probably just gonna equip my barbarian. Because I could equip her, but... Let's see, she doesn't get get to keep those. Okay, so I guess this is where we get to modify stuff. We just don't get to do it often. Alright, let's try this again. Now that I have Fight Man set up properly. Okay. So he only has 25 HP. Which means, to some degree, I could just focus fire him. Let's not do that. Anyway. Boop. Okay, let's summon her. Because my entire goal to some degree... ...is to get rid of that guy. If I can. That's a problem. <sighs> I'm just gonna hit him. Fortunately, the fire damage is not helpful. I didn't know he had knockback. Oh, I'm gonna summon the Phoenix in here. Unfortunately, Dragon is a bit of an issue. Let's see. I have actions left? Oh. I have the Phoenix, but I'm pretty sure the Phoenix can't do anything. I guess I'm just going to move it right here. Just have it be in the way. Yeah, the dragon just, just flies. How much HP do I have? 13. Oh, but this is the Archangel. Archangel is great. Because he dazes enemies. Let's see. I guess I'm just going to go right here. Unless he's immune to daze. At which point this is possibly useless. Where's my chicken go? Chicken goes here. I'm just going to move over. Alright. And if he's dead, then we don't have to worry about it. End turn. Dragon is now... He's not trapped. But he's limited what he can do. Alright. Looks like he's maybe trying to take my dude out. Nope. Trying to go for my chicken. You fool. Chicken on chicken warfare. Unfortunately, he's got enough energy. Nope, there's no way I can fix this, is there? 
My angel. Okay, what do we have? Let's pause that for a second. Do I just keep chucking this guy in here? Sort of. Because he can't counterattack at the moment. Okay, let's move here. The music is definitely changed for the nicer. Now, the dragon doesn't have much HP left. Alright, I'm gonna get my own Phoenix out. We're gonna start moving this over. I was worried. Who still has an action? Oh, you do. No. We want to kind of just have a defensive wall. No, oh, my guardian. Hopefully he comes back. If he doesn't, I don't know. Alright. Seems like he's summoning friends. Luckily, you just trapped that one. Uh, very temporary trapping. Well. Random knockoff NSYNC boy, you want to finish this off for us? We've succeeded. Alright. Two bosses remain. That'll take us in the next act. Unfortunately, ooh. Base life of a guardian while they remain in your party. Or scribe. I'm gonna go for scribe. As much as the extra life on my guardians would be nice, uh... Eh, it's okay. And let's actually go to the campsite, seeing as we've got multiple of them. Because I might as well make camp. Okay, so it looks like... It looks like he comes back. He loses his gear, but who cares? Okay, and is it the usual 20 cards? Yeah, it doesn't look like they got cycled out at all. I might want to switch Stolen Dreams out. Funny card... Not really my... my favorite. Let's get rid of demonic strength. We don't have enough demons. We've got two. Uh, I mean... Actually, this is really good. Uh, let's see, what would I get rid of at this point? Maybe Dark Temptation. Funny as it is, maybe not that useful. Healing an ally, or let's go for Scorpion. Just... Big deeps. Alright. So, yeah, we also lost our succubus, but it is fine. One way or another, I should probably go because, well, I actually do need to go. Uh, I'd like to continue a run of this to the end at some point, but I think I might have to do that off camera. Effectively, every act is about an hour long, and while that's good fun, that's also a lot of time for me to be voice acting anything. And also, I've got uh, I've got a vacation to prep for, so I can't stick around anyway. So, I guess with all of that said, Ablon 1.0 is out now on Steam. I don't know if there's any post-launch uh, support plan for this. I wouldn't be surprised. This seems like one of those long-term developer passion projects. And so I could very much see the um, CD20 Studios continuing to push it forward and add more all the same. But for now, uh, Avalon is 30 bucks normally, down by 20% for launch uh, to $23.99, uh, which seems like a fair price for how deep this game goes. I realize it's a little bit more expensive than certain roguelike deck builders, but there's a lot of meat to this game. And I think it's at some point, I know there was a uh, multiplayer, a ton of cards to unlock. Uh, let's see. My problem is I want to do a new game, but I don't want to reset. If I do this, choose your team. Yeah, here we go. So we've got one, two, three, four. And it looks like it's a different hero every single time. Yeah, so there are what? 16, 20 different starting characters as far as I can tell. I think they pull from specific uh, deck groups. Oh, you can do, can I do custom? So these are all star. So you can make your own. So it looks like... 
Are these the only summoners? These are probably the only ones that I have. So yeah, there's four different magic types plus void and free will, which I'm assuming work separately. No, I don't know. Uh, okay, so let's just do the ice queen. Take a look at guardians. Yeah, so I have to unlock more before I actually get to see more of these, uh, more of these things and have more options to play around with. Uh, yeah, so this is just kind of a a fight a random opponent. Interesting. I wonder what happened to the multiplayer. It's probably coming or is going to be a separate game. Who knows? But for now, at least, if you guys like this video in any way, shape, or form, leave me a like. Helps more than you know. And if you want to see more rad new games every single day, then hit subscribe because I've got tons to check out and show off. But with that, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.